Did you know the right foods can literally protect your eyesight and supercharge your brain? Now what does chocolate do? It actually helps uh, the gut bacteria, by the way. It also uh, improves brain function. What's wonderful uh, in my work is that many foods, more than 200 foods, these are foods that do not just one thing, but they do multiple things uh, to light up your life. Your eyes are burning after a day on screens. You walk into a room and forget why. Sound familiar? By 2030, dementia cases will triple. Age-related blindness is skyrocketing. Our eyes and brain are constantly under attack from aging, screen time, pollution, even stress. Our brain and eyes are some of the most energy-hungry organs in our body. They rely on rich blood flow, healthy neurons, and powerful antioxidants to function well, especially as we age. Dr. William Lee, author of Eat to Beat Disease, emphasizes one core idea. Food is medicine, and your diet can either fuel disease or fight it. So let's get started. First, I want to share with you this idea of food as medicine. You've probably heard about it before. And food as medicine is not literally prescribing foods uh, in order to be able to treat a disease, although there is that effort as well. Now, food as medicine is this concept that when we eat food, the stuff inside the food that Mother Nature actually put into the food, uh, which used to defend plants, for example, mostly, and fruits and vegetables, they have another job description is that those substances in nature begin interacting with our human body, our human cells. Dr. William Lee is a renowned physician, scientist, and New York Times bestselling author. His acclaimed book, Eat to Beat Disease, explores how the body can heal itself, and his latest, Eat to Beat Diet, focuses on burning fat, healing metabolism, and longevity. It's time for us to actually take control of our own health by understanding our own body, and understanding what it is that we actually love to eat and where the science is that can support the things that we should eat. Our blood vessels are the highways and byways that bring the oxygen that we breathe and the nutrients that we to, to feed every single organ, including our eyes and especially our brain, okay? That's really the connection. So when we have healthy blood vessels, very good circulation, our vision is actually good. When we've got good circulation in our brain, our cognition is actually good. And guess what happens when we start to have problems with our vision? The most common causes of vision loss and cognitive loss is actually interference with the circulation of both our eyes and our brain. Not surprisingly, both are in our heads and our skull connected to each other. And so this, you know, sort of like what feeds the brain feeds the eye, what ails the brain also can ail the eye as well. Blood circulation is vital for both the brain and the eyes because these organs are highly sensitive to oxygen and nutrient supply. The brain, despite being only 2% of body weight, uses about 20% of the body's oxygen. Similarly, the retina, the light-sensitive tissue at the back of the eye, requires constant blood flow to function properly. Healthy circulation ensures that these areas receive essential nutrients and antioxidants while removing metabolic waste. When circulation is poor, brain function can decline, leading to memory loss, confusion, or even stroke. In the eyes, it can cause blurred vision, glaucoma, or age-related macular degeneration. Dr. William Lee emphasizes that foods supporting vascular health also protect these organs. Check this out. This is exactly what I talk about in my book, Heat to Beat Disease, Chinese Celery. Now, there is actually a compound in Chinese celery that stimulates stem cells. It's so powerful that in China, they've actually approved this compound to treat stroke because it actually helps to regenerate the brain and create better blood flow. Chinese celery, also known as Apium graviolens var secolinum, is a traditional medicinal vegetable widely used in Asian cuisine. Unlike Western celery, it has thinner stalks, a stronger flavor, and is rich in powerful phytochemicals, especially luteolin and apigenin. Luteolin, a natural flavonoid found in Chinese celery, has been shown in studies to reduce inflammation in the brain, support the growth of new brain cells, neurogenesis, and protect neurons from oxidative damage. These effects are crucial for maintaining cognitive function, especially as we age. 
researchers have linked luteolin with improved memory and reduced risk of neurodegenerative diseases like Alzheimer's. Chinese celery is also known to help regulate blood pressure, improve vascular flexibility, and enhance blood circulation, all essential for delivering oxygen and nutrients to the brain. Healthy circulation ensures brain cells function optimally and repair themselves effectively. In traditional Chinese medicine, Chinese celery is valued for cooling the body and cleansing the blood. When incorporated into a balanced diet, it can act as a natural remedy for brain fog, poor memory, and circulation-related issues. Let go the next one. Eating this can actually help you lower stress as well. This is a bar of chocolate. This is 86% chocolate. Anything over 80 will actually do it. It's cacao, dark chocolate. So research have actually studied healthy volunteers who are stressed out and they uh, measured their blood in their urine to look for stress markers. And what they did is they gave them dark chocolate, kind of like what I just showed you, um, dark chocolate to eat for a couple of weeks, two weeks. And they found that um, when they measured in the blood and in urine for people who they eat chocolate, the stress markers, eating chocolate lowered cortisol, um, lowered adrenaline, and lowered these stress markers uh, in their urine as well. And so high anxiety people can lower their stress markers by eating chocolate. Now what does chocolate do? It actually helps, uh, also helps the gut bacteria, by the way, um, also uh, improves brain function. Uh, and also really, really dark chocolate with cacao has fiber in it. So most people don't think about um, uh, chocolate, dark chocolate having fiber, but it actually does. Dark chocolate, especially varieties containing 80% or more cocoa, is more than just a treat, it's a brain-boosting superfood. Rich in flavanols, magnesium, and antioxidants, dark chocolate has been scientifically linked to improved brain function and blood circulation. Flavanols in cocoa stimulate the production of nitric oxide, a compound that relaxes blood vessels and improves blood flow throughout the body, including the brain. Better circulation means more oxygen and nutrients reach brain cells, which enhances focus, memory, and even mood. Improved blood flow has also been linked to reduced risk of stroke and age-related cognitive decline. Dark chocolate also boosts the release of BDNF, brain-derived neurotrophic factor, a protein that encourages the growth and regeneration of neurons, supporting neuroplasticity, learning, and long-term brain health. Magnesium in dark chocolate helps calm the nervous system and reduce inflammation, another factor critical for cognitive protection. In moderation, a small square of high-quality dark chocolate a day can support mental clarity, reduce stress, and even enhance reaction time. Just avoid overly processed or sugary varieties. Dr. William Lee often highlights dark chocolate as a delicious, science-backed way to nourish the brain and improve vascular health naturally. Nitric oxide. Nitric oxide stimulates stem cells to regenerate your um, organs. So not only do you have better blood flow in your brain, you also have more stem cells in your brain. Guess what? There's a food that will do that, and I will tell you what it is. Beets. Beets actually will grow low to the ground, and so does spinach, absorb a lot of nitrogen from the soil, and when you chew it, the gut bacteria that starts in your tongue, tongue microbiome, converts the nitrogen from the soil in the beet into a form that when you swallow it, gets absorbed into your bloodstream as nitric oxide. Does something very similar to Viagra, without the genital effect, obviously. Um, but that's now a really interesting area of research and wonder whether or not beets, and by the way, if you don't like regular beets or can't find them, beet juice, look at this. It's, you know, this has been studied in humans and shown to also um, recruit stem cells and lower blood pressure. By the way, for every one point of blood pressure you lower with beet juice, you decrease the risk of stroke by 5%. So. This is stuff that makes a difference. It's been studied in humans, quite amazing. Beets, also known as beetroot, are a powerhouse food when it comes to brain health and circulation. Rich in nitrates, beets naturally convert into nitric oxide in the body, a compound that dilates blood vessels and significantly improves blood flow. This enhanced circulation helps deliver more oxygen and nutrients to the brain, supporting energy levels, mental clarity, and even long-term cognitive function. Research shows that increased blood flow to the frontal lobe, the part of the brain responsible for decision-making and memory, can boost performance, especially in older adults. 
Beets are particularly helpful for those at risk of cognitive decline or conditions like dementia. In addition, beets contain betalins, powerful antioxidants with anti-inflammatory properties that help protect brain cells from oxidative stress. They also support neurogenesis, the process of forming new brain cells by reducing inflammation and promoting a healthy environment for brain growth. Beets are also high in folate, a B vitamin essential for brain development and repair. Which of these foods do you eat regularly? And what's one you're gonna add after watching this? Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this with someone who wants to stay sharp and see clearly for years to come. Drop a comment below, I reply to as many as I can. And check the description for links to Dr. Lee's book and research. Just a friendly reminder, this video is meant for educational purposes only. If you have any medical concerns, please consult your doctor. Eat smart, live strong, be optimal.